Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to use a dedicated automated test module for EA Utils and add in for Enterprise Architect. EA Utils provide a number of useful features that are documented on eautils.com. Automated tests have been defined to replace time consuming manual tests and deal with increasing complexity. Now I'm going to use Enterprise Architect with predefined dataset and test steps. So in Enterprise Architect, we've got test elements that are linked with packages that contain our dataset. In this package, we've got classes that we need to sort according to the alias value. For the second step, we've got classes that we need to sort by name, aiming to have classes 10 to 12 at the end of the package. Finally, we need to generate the use case aliases references according to their displayed order in this diagram. So first, we run EAUtils on the first data set, so the classes are going to be sorted according to the alias. So we can review the results and check that they match the expected order. Then we select the second package and we run EAUtils again to sort them by name. Finally, let's open the use case diagram and EAUtil settings to define the alias value to generate. Ignore external elements options is set for the actors located in a separate package. Then we run EAUtils generate alias to update the use case alias values. So I've done this to generate the XML test data that will be copied into the automated test module. So I'm now able to run the automated test and it basically invokes the add-in methods and generate results in sequence diagrams. At the end, a pop-up window displays the final result, successful or failed. In step one, we can review the checked post conditions, including class names, GUID, and the expected position. Let's have a look at the second step, opening the sequence diagrams, and again reviewing the checked classes from one to 12. Finally, we can open the details of step 3 and check that the alias values have matched the use cases. Okay, now I'm changing the alias value on the class, so the next test will fail. So let's run the test again, and the pop-up is going to confirm that, the, that it failed. And we can review on the generated sequence diagrams, red arrows showing non-matching values on checked post conditions. Okay, so additional features are available and I will share them in two details at the next EA user group in London on the 19th of May. Please visit eausergroup.com to register. Thank you.